We have blue skies across the entire uh, area in the upper valley and in the lower valley too. Live look from our DHR camera out there. And again, it is still very hot across the valley. Temperatures uh, still sitting in the low 90s along the coast. Speaking of the island, you're at 90 degrees at the moment. We're at 93 in Harlingen, 94 in Raymondville, and 95 degrees is our current temperature in McAllen. Factor in all the humidity that we're still feeling out there and those heat indices, those feels like temperatures, anywhere from 107 along the island to about 109 uh, in Edinburgh, so it is still hot out there. Be very careful if you have any other evening plans and a few things to remember to help make sure you stay safe out there. We've said it once and many times again, drink water, then drink some more. Make sure your pets have shade and water as well. Wear sunscreen and probably the most important, look before you lock. Make sure you check the back seat of your car anytime you leave it out there. Now, future cast will show throughout the night tonight. We'll see more clouds developing across the valley tonight, but similar to what we've seen over the last several days, uh, they will be clearing by the time we get towards our Tuesday afternoon. Winds also picking up from the southeast a bit. We'll see wind gusts anywhere from about 25 to 35 miles an hour throughout the afternoon, and then we'll see those clouds building up one more time throughout the night going into our Wednesday, and then already by noon Wednesday, the skies will be clearing uh, once again. Now, one thing that we haven't really talked about too much lately is the drought monitor. We are completely out of that drought monitor, not just here in the valley, but uh, for many areas in South Texas as well. San Antonio still dealing with a few issues, but here's one of the other problems we're going to run into is we're seeing the chances for drier than normal conditions uh, for the next several weeks or so. And again, all that is still thanks to that high pressure that is over Mexico. Remember, high means dry. And so the dry air, the dryness is here. The heat is here as we're underneath that thermal ridge, and it is just going to be sticking around with us uh, for the time being being on top of seeing drier than normal conditions. We'll also see a well above normal temperatures for the foreseeable future. Honestly, I would probably anticipate through at least the rest of the month we're going to be stuck in this pattern. Overnight tonight, temperatures falling down to the mid 70s with those mostly cloudy skies out at the island tomorrow at mid 80s. We're looking at another day for extreme UV index, moderate rip current risk this time with that surf height at three to four feet. Then throughout the rest of the valley tomorrow, we're near that century mark once again with mostly the partly cloudy, mostly the partly clear skies and those heat index values once again will make their way well above that 100 degree mark so make sure you stay cool out there over the next seven days we're going to keep on that trend of the hot humid breezy weather lasting through father's day sunday into juneteenth monday again we're just stuck in this pattern so we may sound like a broken record sydney uh, but you more than anyone should know uh, you know we gotta stay hydrated out there with any outdoor activity stay safe as we continue to go through all this wonderful weather and i say wonderful you know loosely because at least it's not storming i'd rather have have it hot than super cold or storming, so I will take it. I'd rather have it not storming because it means I get a bit of a break. Yes, <laughs> all breaks wanted here. All right, Brian, thank you. We'll be right back after this quick break. Break.